Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Okami. Hi, I'm Rufo. Play this game for you. Woo! Left the city, and now it's time to cross the border. Hello, sir. Mm. Hey, that's a border key. A permit from Queen Himiko for crossing the border. What on earth are you doing with something like that? Well, rules are rules. Anyone bearing that's allowed to pass here. Must be on some very important business, I suppose. Now open the gate straight away. Hooray! Reach the North Ryoshima coast, which doesn't look like a desecrated hellhole. All right then. Uh, I don't know. How do you figure? Yeah, funny that. I thought it was just because of the water. Uh, soon. You are willing to bite Rao's head off for for putting me for pointing out my flaws. So why you go about it? Ah, uh, hypocrite! You make me desire the company of Waka. Speak of the devil. Bonjour, Amaterasu. I trust you enjoyed your little adventure through that hole. I did actually. The city's air has sure cleared up thanks to you. <laughs> After talking to you, I'd like to talk to this guy. Why so grumpy today? Didn't you notice the view? I did notice it. It used to be one big curse zone out here. But yours truly pulled off one of those great divine interventions. I'm so happy to hear there are other people working to restore the world too. I really wanted to wait for you two. But I couldn't stand leaving the sea in such a cursed state. Ah, the sea off Ryoshima coast is back to its beautiful self. Is this what they mean by prettier than a picture, my little friend? Huh? I was wondering that myself. Oh, just a little something I overheard somewhere. So, my little bouncing friend, you're a wandering artist, no? I want to see how beautiful your paintings are. Just one would be fine. Pretty please? He's asking nicely to see your art. Well, you threw it in my face, it was none of my business. You really are in a bad mood today. You're not one of those imposters who claims to be an artist but could not paint a picture if his life depended on it, are you? Oh, nothing. It's just something some old man mentioned. His grandson, who was also his apprentice, ran away from home. And he took the old man's painting of a wood sprite with him. Do you think he might claim to have painted that masterpiece? I mean, there are so many unscrupulous people out there. Sometimes it's hard to spot an imposter in the wide world of art. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Admittedly, that's a fight I would like to see, but seriously, Asun, we have other things to do. Excuse moi You do not have to get all hot under the collar. It would appear I have struck a raw nerve. Well, since I have no prophecies or anything for you this time, I suppose I'll just be on my merry way. Au revoir, baby. Boy, as soon as you sure let him rile you up. Hmm? It's a nose! 
Wow! Off with you. All right. Got that out of the way. Let's head over this way. Charge! Aha! There we go. Now we'll feed the kitties. Yay! Alright, you may have noticed that buried box that I just ran by. Well, I didn't want to ruin my run up. Because at full speed, we can make that jump. Otherwise, we're going to need a willy. Make our way past this tree! One more treasure! Aha! Alright. Dodge past the scrolls and run up to this mirror. But finally, use our veil of mist. So we're not going terribly far. <laughs> but this is the only way up here. Do we find Clovis? Beads. Well, I did say clovers in the plural. All right. Oh yeah, we didn't go far at all. <laughs> Boxes. Yeah, while I'm thinking about it. What was that nose? It's an earth nose! The demon uses intense winds to blow down people and houses alike. Originally, it was a Tengu who could bend the winds to his will. Wind cannot counter wind? It is said that only by manipulating the flow of time itself can one defeat this fearsome, windy evil. Fair enough! Treasure! Yay! What else have we got? Waterlogged treasure! Give me. More water log treasure. And cats. Gotta feed the cats.
Yay! Alrighty, make our way across this bridge. Don't mind the treasure in the water, we'll come back to it. Aha! But first! Hello, sir! Hmm. Aha! Yes, that's a great idea! That would sell like hotcakes! A donut in the shape of Oni Island! The Doni Nut! It'll be great! Look! You can see Odie Island from here. This is the perfect spot to sell Odie Island merchandise. Gotta make the best of a bad deal, right? Or you wind up miserable. That demon-shaped island then appeared out of nowhere a while ago. The water dragon went crazy and the city got that weird fog. All that happens then since that island turned up. Every day, it looks like it's in a different place, too. There can't be a weirder sight anywhere in the world. On the island, huh? Hmm. Now, oh, buck up, buddy. <laughs> what are you muttering about? It's time to live it up and do some business. You want to shop? You on shopping duty, Pooch? Take a look! Yes, I would like to do a spot of shopping. I need more fish. <laughs> Get that! Be dog! Yay! Praise to the puppy! Surf's up! The building we passed by doesn't really have anything of note in it. Hence, it was passed by. Let's make our way to the beach. Where things are afoot. Hey, Urushima! You got taken by that porka guy, right? And he took you to the castle at the bottom of the sea! If that's true, where's that porka now, huh? Yeah, where is he now? I don't know. You don't Orca, it's Orca! He's an emissary from the Dragon Palace. Who he comes for people worthy of going there. Yeah, right. Did your mom teach you not to tell lies? Let's get him. Yeah. Hey, who's that? Good jamming. I'm bored of playing with him now. Come on, let's go play somewhere else. Yeah! Hmm. <laughs> 
I don't know, but I get the feeling we're gonna see more of them later. Sounds applicable. Hey, you! Hmm. Oh, dear. Well, only one. I must have dozed off. I reckon I do that a lot on the beach. Huh. I don't know who y'all are, but I sure appreciate your waking me up. When I ain't got no strength, got the strength to go home, sometimes I nap here. Huh. Thought he was actually hurt. No, sir. I'm fit as a fiddle. Oh, I am. Just taking a nap on the beach is all. Huh. Yes, do tell. No one ever believes me about that. There's a land under the sea here in Ryushima. The Dragonians and, and Sea God live there in the Dragon Palace. Dragon Palace is an amazing place, real birdie. I haven't been there in a dog's age, though. Hmm. Sounds especially applicable. <laughs> How could a chubby, er, I mean, big boned lad? <laughs> the water dragon was much nicer in those days. But you can't just choose to go to the Dragon Palace, see? Only worthy people can go. If you're worthy, an emissary called Orca comes to get you. Makes sense? Yes, how do we meet with Orca? Now that's one question that ain't so easy to answer. Sure it is, open your mouth and answer it. Y'all see that pier over yonder? That pier's where I met Orca. I was looking out to the sea when he came with the morning sun. Orca only comes if you're worthy of the Dragon Palace, I reckon. Fair enough, I guess. Oh, we'll have to investigate that more of that later. Vengeance. Booze. Treasure! 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 Yay! Seeds for piggies! Praise to the puppy! What have we up here? More stuff!
Oh, hey, guy. What are you doing out here? Well, there's a face I know. It's been a while, Poochie. Yeah, the apple guy. Well, I've had a complete change of heart since then. I gave up my old job and set off on a journey to hone my skills. This suits me much better than my formal duties back in the city. Nippon's best archer and his bow golden fighter are still in top form. Here, Poochie. Why not have a bite to eat and relax a bit? So what you doing? You got it! See that fruit hanging on, on that tree over there on that little island? That's what I'm aiming for. I'm going right back to the basics. But that fruit is uh, as hard as stone. Nothing damages it, even if I hit it dead center a hundred times. It sounds strange, but that's what makes it a good target. Here, Poochie. Have a bite to eat and relax a bit. Alrighty. Let's see your shooting. What in the world? But my arrow! It just made that fruit ripen! These arrows must be possessed or something! Oh no! I, I, I just remembered! I've got to go be somewhere! Er, where was it again? Uh, never mind! Gotta go! Can't be late! And just for the record, I'm not running away! I'm not scared! Well, goodbye and good luck! See ya, buddy! Thanks for the fruit! Poor guy! Didn't mean to panic him. Oh well. Hello? Aha! What do we got here? Woo! It's quite the grove. Rabbits! I want all the attention! Rabbits know what's meant by praise to the puppy. <laughs> Boar. Beads. And a peach. And a couple more clovers. That's more to excite the rabbits. Take those on the way out. Off we go. So much praise for a hole in the ground. Let's do battle. Let's get stuck on the gate. <laughs> like that! Oh! 
Pick that, foo! Fear the Golden Fury! <laughs> Hooray! Hmm. Well, we have a moment. Just shove the praise in here because, well, we're not in dire need of a bigger purse, but we will need to upgrade this eventually, so why not? Treasure! What have we seen? More. And our new enemies. A Halo Guardian. Halos are normally seen radiating from Buddha statuary. But this is... This creature has stolen that appearance and uses it to harass humans. Its holy appearance is convincing, but a closer look reveals no head. One tale tells of a devout old couple who were attacked, act but saved by a divine wind. A strong heart will tell you this is an imposter. The other one? Executioner. More deadly than most of its ilk. This demon fools people into thinking it's an ordinary statue before striking. It uses stone heads like a shield and is prone to turning them into projectiles. Its demonic power is so great that it must be exercised twice. Alright then. Oh well. Pardon me, sir! Let's feed more bunnies! Hey, kid! What's that noise? That tower over there? Old Not Corrin's Tower? <laughs> oh! Okay. Why? Oh, yeah? Wait, you mean to tell me that really is Corrin's tower? It is a sad story. That is quite the tower. Hmm. Well... Shall we go and meet with Orca? See if he'll come. After all, it's very easy for us to make the morning sun. This is the sunrise technique after all. Hey, it worked! Hey, buddy! <laughs> ah! Orca! Orca! It's you! It's been a dog's age! I stopped counting the years! Did you come here to take me back to the Dragon Palace? Clearly he is not worthy. Uh, it would seem so soon. That is a powerful swimmer. Get 
last, one worthy of visiting the Dragon Palace. Hop on! Take you to the Dragon Palace. Hooray! I'm second to none when it comes to swimming. Even that water dragon's no match for me. That's great news. We're getting on! <laughs> Ulf! Although boarding orca is one of the uh, harder jumps to make. Don't! Fortunately, if you're next to him, you can just jump aboard. <laughs> yes, let us go. Yes. Well, we're going to find out. I'm afraid I can't do that yet. Why not? You must complete the final ordeal decreed by Otohime. Only then will you be worthy of visiting the Dragon Palace. Yeah, I hear him. Soon, what makes you think she's letting it run amok? Yes, tell us of the ordeal. Okay. You must find the whirlpool amid the vast sea. That's the ordeal. True. Very true. Sounds like a plan. Quite a bit to explore, but we'll start with that island with the fruit. Hooray! Disembark! You heard. Treasure! Put down that fruit, because it is full of praise. Hooray! Yeah, I am. <laughs> Orc is a much better swimmer. We'll use him to get around. The entrance to the Dragon Palace is in a whirlpool. But it's hidden right now to keep uh, the evil beings that plague the area. Let's find the whirlpool amidst the bad sea. That's the ordeal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well... We could go go and visit the islands, but uh, we'll worry about that later. Instead, we'll come over here to Corin's Tower. The tower? Didn't you listen to the girl? Yes, let's. Ha! Little something to remember, though. You make your way up the tower. Make sure you have at least eight fish.
So we're gonna find a lot, a lot of cats at Cat Call Tower. But that is for next time. We'll see you then. Later.